أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By the grace of Allah and His infinite rahmah that I'm in existence. We took a path inshaAllah of asking to be nothing. And only Allah come into our lives and remind us the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and the way of Allah They are the great defenders of the truth and the great fighters against shayateen. That Allah equip them with an ability to fight shayateen. To recognize the tricks and the trade of shaitan on how he's continuously deceiving people from reaching towards Allah's satisfaction. Teaching people not to strive for more. Teaching people not to ask Allah's forgiveness means the subtlety of shaitan is the, not that he comes with horns and a scary face. But that he inspire within you that you're great, don't ask Allah's forgiveness. And immediately the Bab at Tawbah closes, means his tricks are so subtle that people can be astonished. That he comes as if it's a good qatir, good thought, you're a praised one, you're a beautiful one, mashaAllah your amal so good. And that is the opposite of the way of reality that they come into our lives and begin to teach. That when the Arabi came to Prophet and said that, I believe, I believe in your Islam and Allah revealed Ayatul Qur'an that correct him, that no, no he doesn't believe, he merely accepted Islam. Maqam al-Iman is not something easy. That we have Islam, we have Iman, one maqam al ihsan And if in your life all that you are trying to achieve is just Islam, it's like coming to the edge of the cliff and saying that, this is where I want to park myself. At any moment shaitan can fool the believer and before you know it they are in difficulty and they are falling. Don't try to be happy with the lowest level in life, try to exceed and move towards the highest levels of reality. And shaitan comes to people and make them to think and to be proud of their Islam. And only Allah come into our life, no, 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 because Islam is your kindergarten. Islam is a kindergarten and what Allah wanted for you maqam al-ihsan means that if you live your life in a kindergarten then shaitan comes to fool people that their shahada is real, oh I made shahada therefore I'm a very special person now. Then I made my salah, I made my zakah, I made my hajj means all those principles of Islam Pride will enter into that, that, oh mashaAllah I pray therefore I'm special. And now the amal is filled with the bad desires and bad characteristics. All of that Islam will be built on pride. Allah come to the one who praying and thought that he is going to be Acknowledging Allah's presence and Allah said, take that one and drag them out. He prayed to be seen by people that he's praying. The one who gave said, same thing, take that one out. He gave because he wanted to be seen by people that he's giving, fasting because he wanted to be seen by fasting. It keeps going. And only Allah come into our life and remind us that all of that Islam was meant to bring down the wild character. 
and that we should be striving for maqam al-iman and for maqam al-iman that, Ya Rabbi I want to achieve maqam al-iman and I want to reach maqam al-ihsan. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com So means the halqas of zikr and the turuqs, they're different, they're different, their teachings will be different. You'll hear things here that you don't hear in many masjids. Why? Because we don't understand and we think that Islam is the entire package, that's it, I made my Islam. And you rely all your life on those amal and hope that Allah accept it. Awliyaullah come into our life and say, no, negate it. All of your amal negate it and bring it down, do what Allah ordered as a sign of love. Ya Rabbi, my shahada, I'm doing it as a sign of love. I know that it's not real. Then they come and teach into your life, no, how is your shahada real? Somebody may be pride, poor and say, no I made shahada. Shahada is a testimony like a court of law that you're testifying to Allah that there's nothing but Allah and that you witness Sayyidina Muhammad So it means even your shahada is not correct, it's imitated. You're not witnessing Sayyidina Muhammad If you close your eyes and in your heart, if you see Prophet if you see Sayyidina Muhammad your shahada is real. 99.9% .9 of the people their shahada is not real. So means your Islam is imitated Islam. If your shahada is not real, your salah is a complete imitation. Because all your salah is, Salaamu Alaika Yuhan Nabi. The tahiyyat, as salaamu alayka yuhan nabi. You means that Allah expecting you should be giving salams to Prophet facing, facing, facing Prophet So means even my salah is not real Ya Rabbi. I didn't reach my shahada to be real, I didn't reach my salah to be real, my zakah, I'm trembling with my zakah. If I'm giving zakah, I should have been zakia, should have been purified. Why I have bad desires and bad actions and bad characteristics means I'm not really being purified. And hajj, hajj, am I really reaching the reality of hajj or it's a tourist? Then we book now five star and go a triple A package and we go to the bazaar and buy jewelry. They come into our lives and teach us, no, no, be, be true to Allah negate your amal. Your amal is not reaching anywhere. As long as shaitan whisper to you thinking that your amal is great, you're never reaching towards Allah wanting. So they come and they begin to whisper in the correct ear, don't let shaitan to fool you. Your amal is an imitated amal and didn't reach Allah's satisfaction. If it reached Allah's satisfaction, your shahada would be real. You would say, As Salaamu Alaikum, Yuhan Nabi, and Prophet is in front of you. 
The Salaamu Alaikum Ibadullahi Salihin and you would be seeing all Ashab Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahlul Bayt and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all Awliyaullah. This majlis is filled with all Awliyaullah. You should be seeing from Ahlul Basira, from the people of the heart, they see. The Islam is real, so they come and they begin to teach, negate, negate all your practices and say that, Ya Rabbi I want to reach to Maqam al-Iman. And what Prophet taught us of Maqam al-Iman is that you have to love me more than you love yourself. So then if you think you have Iman, go back home and say, no do I love Prophet more than I love myself? This is that you love me more than you love your brother, your father and your children. Love me more than them. Why? Knowing that today everybody only posts pictures of their family, how much they love their child. Even the child not born you're crazy about. Imagine then the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Then you know how your comparison. That's why you say you put nothing of your family love, nothing of any love in your heart, not your husband and not your wife in your heart. You put that love in your jigar, you put the love of all this dunya in your liver, this heart only for Allah and whom Allah loves means the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is in the heart. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Maqam al-Iman is every day I'm thinking to myself, Ya Rabbi how am I going to love Prophet more than I love myself? He said, how, how much you think about yourself and remember yourself and remember your family? Make durood al-Sharif, make excessive amounts of salawats on Prophet The light and the reality of it we don't have to go too deep into that. As much as you praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad as much as you fill your house with salawats and durood al-Sharif on Prophet as much as you study the life and the character and the beauty and the fragrance of Prophet it becomes a true love affair. قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحِبُكُمْ The only way to get Allah's love is to follow Prophet to love Sayyidina Muhammad When you're constantly making salawat on Prophet then they begin to teach all the realities. As soon as you're sitting and making with your tasbih, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, Ya Rabbi I want to love the one whom you love. And Allah look into the heart, look into your heart and He looks into your heart and says, no in your heart is the love of all your dunya. Until when Allah look into the heart and He sees your heart filled with the ishq of Sayyidina Sayyidina Muhammad Then you are now reaching towards being mukhlas, sincere. When Allah loves to see what Allah loves, wants to look into the heart of the believer 
and see the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in that heart. Because the character, the akhlaq, the, the fragrance of Prophet is what Allah loves. Means now your body has a qibla. They begin to teach all these realities. The qibla of your body is that you are facing Kaaba. But what's the qibla of your heart? If your heart is supposed to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than you love yourself, means now they begin to open the reality. You're elevating in your belief that your heart must be for Prophet Your body facing Mecca, your heart facing Prophet And that's why the salah says, As salamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Because Allah wound maqam al iman, don't live your life praying only maqam al Islam where everything is just imitated and not even real, but reach in life. That's when you fight against shaitan, say, No, I'm going to go with these ahla haqqaiq, I'm going to go and to learn their realities, I'm going to go and sit with them and do their practices so that I can reach and make my Islam to be real and open the next qibla. The qibla of iman is in the direction of Sayyidina Muhammad where your whole entire being is facing Prophet And then wajik al kareem and the generous and noble face of that reality begin to dress your entire being and that is the door that begin to open maqam al ihsan is that all your worshipness as if you see Allah If you don't see Allah know that He sees you, means that level of belief. Now that maqam al-ihsan, the qibla of ihsan is in the seeing and the witnessing of what Allah wounds. All your ibadah, all your zikr, all your worship, all your salah, everything you do in your life is with your heart to be from Ahl al-Basira for the heart to be open and to witness what Allah wants us to be witnessing. And that witnessing is to ask Ya Rabbi that I won't stop until my heart sees Sayyidina Muhammad I want to be in that light, I want to be under that Divinely face, that Holy face that you're addressing every reality upon that Divinely face and Holy face of Prophet and I want to be from Ahl al-Basira that my heart open and that the realities of my heart to be witness. We pray that Allah dress us from these realities. That not to only think that we achieve something by our Islam, but to negate and move towards maqam al-Iman and from maqam al-Iman to open up the realities of maqam al-Ihsan inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon. As-salamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha